At times, but not for every day. I don't need to to hear everything, but would like to hear that where things are different. Do you have comments on whether there is a plea agreement in those or whether they go beyond the trial? I don't know what they have to offer for a plea agreement, so I, they would need to come up with something big like uh, turn in somebody else that was involved in it or something of that sort. I don't, uh, you know, in a plea agreement, there's supposed to be something that both sides are getting. They brought up plea agreements with, with this so often already. And so uh, when you give away everything and you, you have, you should, you better get something. So I, I don't really know what they could do. Do you think there are any other uncharged conspirators still out there? If you go back through the evidence that's been presented in the two trials, I, I think there probably is somebody, but um, I'm not going to spend the rest of my life worrying about it. It's, it's not a, it's already been too much, too painful. John, what's your opinion on life without parole? If you could, if you could talk to the jurors about life without parole, what would you do? Well, there are so many years involved in everything that. I don't think it's going to matter, so I'm not going to worry about that. It's life without parole just sort of says, uh, puts a stamp on it about how horrible it is. So it was quite a, an awful crime. The thing that comes back and bothers me the most is to think of my son burning to death. And that's uh, so. Life without parole tells people that that was a very horrible thing that was done. Anything else? Okay. Have a good day.